Okay, so for number 19, we have an exponential growth problem. And we have a couple of pieces of information that we need to use. So we have an exponential growth of bacteria. And the number of bacteria is 10 in the beginning. So remember that that would mean that our principal, our initial amount, is 10. And the number of bacteria is 30 two hours later. So that actually tells us a couple of different things. We know that, so every two hours, So the bacteria triples. So after two hours, 10 turned into 30. So we tripled our, our, our number. So the question is find the time when the number of bacteria reaches 100. First, let's come up with an equation based off of this. So remember that your amount is equal to your original number. and we don't need to use an e to the rt here because we know that our bacteria is tripling. So if it's tripling every two hours, we know that our factor is 3. So then we just need to come up with our exponent. So remember that your exponent is going to be t divided by 2 in this case. And the easiest way to see that is you don't have a full 3, meaning 3 to the 1 power, until t is 2. So once t becomes 2, now you have 2 over 2, which is 1, so you do 3 times your initial. So you have to have 3 to the t divided by 2 power. And we know that our p is 10. So our actual number for the amount of bacteria is 10 times 3 to the t over 2 for any given t. So our question is to find that time, t, when our number is 100. So we just want to plug in a equals 100 to our formula here, and then we're going to solve for t. So we get 100 equals 10 times 3 to the t over 2 power. We can divide both sides by 10, and just get 10 equals 3 to the t over 2. Now since the variable that we're trying to solve for is in the exponent, to solve for that we need to take the natural log of both sides to get the exponents down. So we have ln of 10 is equal to ln of 3 to the t over 2. And remember that any time you have uh, a power, or ln of something to a power, that power can come in front. So we have ln 10 equals t over 2 times ln of 3 by bringing the power in front of the ln. And then finally, solving for t, we just need to divide by ln 3, multiply by 2. So we're going to get 2 ln 10. divided by ln3, and that gives us then answer choice D.